Hello, everyone. This is Bigowski. And this is JTB. And this is Chapter 15, Part B, and uh, Chapter 16. So these are the last, or this is the last video of Ball Babe's Master Ninja Karma Run for Ninja Gaiden Black. Unfortunately, the last video. Yeah, we've had a great <laughs> yeah. time doing this. We'll talk a little bit more about it, but... Oh, uh, the Here, Gauntlet. Uh, anything? Anything? Just Fuck this gauntlet. Bombs. Just seriously. <laughs> that's, my, that's my main <laughs> thought for this. Oh, <laughs> uh, th this is real rough. Like, every single fight in this bar. I'd say Nisha is probably the only one that's, like, okay. Like, she's fairly straightforward. Um, but, I mean, like, the these slider encounters are very, very frustrating. Um... Like, you know, you want to make mo make the most of the environment, make the most of your smoke bombs and your UTs. I mean, in this first encounter, you actually have a ton of time uh, to get UTs. Um, and you can use pretty much whatever you want. Like, the Warhammer's fine, the Nunchucks are fine. Um, it's really just about your positioning and manipulating the enemies so you only hit, you know, one with your UT. Uh, that's the well, biggest you know, thing here. Yeah, you know, also, if you, look, you know, watch uh, what he's doing... Uh, Knowing when he needs to use a smoke bomb and then when he doesn't need to, knowing the patterns of the enemies. And also, like, you know, a couple of them were underground. One of them spawned right up, so he wanted to release the UT right then, so he only hit the one instead of the three. I mean, little things like that, because you kill an extra one or two that you don't mean to, either you restart or you lose points. Yeah. And uh, one thing to note as well about this environment, it's uh, probably why he's using the Warhammer here as well. Um, you notice there's no wall to knock them into. So, um, for those that don't know, when you hit um, an enemy with a wall, into a wall with a UT, um, it has pretty much on par the amount of damage that the move it, that itself deals to them. Um, a really good way to showcase that, if you hit someone into the wall with a Lunar UT, Evil Ryu is a pretty good example of it. It will actually take the exact same amount of damage as a hit of the UT does from the Lunar. So, you know, when you're doing it with the Warhammer or Debilero, it's obviously going to be, you know, a lot more damage dealt to that enemy. So in this encounter, because there's no walls around, as long as you're really careful with your positioning, you can, of course, get two UTs per enemy. Oh, he got the, uh, the little plasma sword. Cool. Yeah, you have to use that. I was really bummed that they took out the, um, the future ninja costume in, uh, Pretty much all subsequent versions of this game, actually. I don't, it's not in Sigma, uh, I don't think. Uh, it's not in NG2. Um, the weapon itself isn't even in NG2. But yeah, it, it's really cool, that the, the plasma saber. It makes such a cool noise. <laughs> when you wow, that it. did a lot of uh, damage, just her flying through it. Yeah, the Gleaming Blade, uh, the, the true Dragon Sword Gleaming Blade is... Uh, I mean, the, the Plasma Saber is like exactly the same in terms of power and everything. It's just you know, a, a different skin, essentially. Uh, but that UT does a huge amount of damage. Nishe is fairly straightforward, as I said. You just want to um, try and get a steady chain going of where you can knock her down, and then either Gleaming Blade her while she's on the floor, or do what he like how he does here, and just wait for her to move. And she's a lot more aggressive than Alma. Like um, Alma's very much focused on her projectiles, whereas Nishe focuses far more on actually you know getting up close to you. Oh, and just something real quick about the Nimpo uh, before the fight moves on. You make sure you have it at level 2, level 3 in Azuma Nimpo. Not only takes way, way longer to actually activate, but uh, level 2 has a much, much higher success rate of knocking her down, whereas level 3 sometimes doesn't. You know, he got a little un unlucky, I thought, that uh, it knocked her down uh, too early, it seemed. You know, almost as soon as he cast it. And then, so that didn't give him a chance to run over there and you know, maybe do some damage, you know, some, some better damage or something to kill her faster. I'm not sure. I mean, it probably works out even with the UTs. Like, he does get some very, very good uh, gleaming blades on her when she dives into him. So, I mean, as long as you get the damage in that. Like, time's not that much of a big deal in that boss fight. Like, you, your main kind of focus is to just get your four or five UTs. And as long as you kill her, you know, in a somewhat timely fashion, like, you'll, you'll get a pretty decent kill bonus. This fight is also complete horseshit because of Marbus <laughs> throwing down his goddamn fireballs. Um, for, the, for anyone who don't know, uh, Marbus will, like, he'll laugh bef just before he throws one, uh, and when he laughs, that will kind of track where you are, and that's where that will actually come. So, when he laughs and then throws it down, like, that's when you want to move out the way, because that's how you can set, like, there, for a perfect example, he'll be able to set up an on-landing UT, and the, you know, the fire pillar from Marbus won't actually hit him. 
Well, there's some, some uh, couple more points for people if they want to, uh, yep. you know, give it a shot. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'd love someone to do it. I, I'd, li I'd like to see it. I, JTB, I, this has I'm, your name uh, written all over it. I'm not gonna do it. That's for damn sure. <laughs> but I'd love to see it. <laughs> oh, you can tell he's playing on the 360. That was one reason why I don't like playing it on the 360 because of the. Uh, Whenever you hit the wall, the little fuzzy of the wall, that really messes me up. Yeah, it really obscures your vision on uh, the 360 version. Um, Ishtaros is fairly straightforward. Um, she has uh, two strings where she's vulnerable. Um, you just saw that one right there where she like tries to whip and kick you. The other one is her knee. Ideally, the knee is the one you want her to do because when she does the knee, you can actually do windmill slash into XX. And that will, more often than not, she'll just go directly for another knee. Like there you can see he uses uh, Dragon Tail, which is uh, XX, XY. And if you do Windmill Slash into running XX, you end up right next to her. And nine times out of ten, she'll just go for, for a follow-up knee. And then you can, of course, loop it over and over and over again and, and kill her really, really quickly using that. I like the, uh, the forward XXX move that uh, one guy would do whenever he would fight her. Yeah, there you go. Hey, uh, it didn't go perfect the whole time. Reset. <laughs> yeah, this is a fairly good... I think he gets like, yeah, 175,000, and I think he gets a UT as well. So that's like 180,000 yeah, yeah. for his she, she knocked him out of it, you know, I was just kidding, because that always happened to me. It's so you know, Every time I would get... It didn't matter where I went, she would always find me and whip around and kick me in the head. Wouldn't it be cool if you could, like, counter that somehow? That'd right. Be awesome. it's like, if you could intercept it and, like, hit her out of it, that'd be awesome. But... Um, so how, are, how many enemies are here? I think he spawns... I think it's 108. I think he'll spawn oh, he the does. full 108. Um, but the thing about this is you really have to be mindful of your time when you do this. Um, there's a couple of ways you can kind of tackle Marvus. You can either uh, try and get as many UTs as possible in the allotted time and then kill him, you know, just regularly. Or you can do what I'm pretty sure uh, Balbe does here and Kyori also did, is you can uh, just run the time down all the way You'll have to know how much time you have left in the chapter because you don't want to fail the chapter time limit and farm him for UTs and kill as many of his minions as you possibly can. How many minions he'll spawn uh, is completely random. There's not really much you can do to like make him do it. One of the things that does kind of help, if you if when he spawns them, if you want to try and keep one alive, he tends to spawn them more regularly if he has one out. So like you know, don't kill all of them at the same time. Uh, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. You just want to get as many UTs as you can kill as many of his minions as you can and really keep an eye on your time because you don't want to go over on the chapter time limit. Right. I think Kyori did a mixture of it. Yeah, I, I think, think what I did. think he did. I think he Kyori killed I think 70 enemies and uh, Kyori's Marbus fight is insane. I think he gets I think he gets over 300,000 points out of it. Oh wow. Um, he has like a perfect like farming of UTs. <laughs> I love that move. <laughs> <laughs> that move is so cool. That's just, that's just the running Y move for anybody that doesn't know. Uh, running Y is just that those kicks, and you can uh, you can do that off of windmill slash. You can do windmill slash X into the running kicks, and it just looks so cool. So you know, you talk about all these combination names and everything. I just never took the time to. I mean, I know the gleaming blade and stuff like that, but it's only there's, you know, there's I just, a. I just, I just, there's only really the dragon sword ones I know. Like, I have no idea what like the Devilera moves are called. Um, right. Or it's just the dragon sword is the main one. Oh. He gets hit with the. I mean, that's not really that big a deal. He's gonna have rebirths to burn here, so. I tell you one thing, I hated was farming him in uh, mission mode. Oh yeah, with the chucks. He's such a piece of shit. <laughs> I hate Marbus. There's not much you like about this game for somebody who has 2,000 hours in it. Uh, when it comes to karma, there's not. I mean, it's one of those things, you know, the grass is always greener. Um, right. Now that I've done it, like, I mean, it was great doing it. Like, don't get Oh, me. man. He, tr he, he tried to get that UT in there. <laughs> I like that he's using the exploding arrows as well. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty clever actually. Because um, sometimes like the the imps can like move out the way of your follow up attack, and uh -huh. um, with the exploding arrows, you don't actually have to hit the enemy. You can just like shoot it near their feet, and the uh, splash damage, you know, will will get them.
Yeah, he, Marvis is being a little pain jumping on him. Yeah, he, he is pretty random like that. As I said, there's not a lot you can do to control his movement. Um, but it's it's what you have to do. It's it is kind of annoying that like the the, the, the longer time limits like really you know, they set it up for this kind of play, you know, like they you have all this time and you have a fifty UT limit and you just need to get the most you can. Uh, now, for those who don't know, you can actually jump behind him when he does that move. You can charge a UT, jump behind his back, and then he won't actually go to grab you. He'll just go back into the air straight away and then uh, move away. And you can more often than not get, um, you know, a secondary follow-up UT with that. Now, this is ideally the pattern you want. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how long it lasts for him here, but... Um, kill one with the UT, but hit both of them with the UT, and then you can, you know, keep keep your UT chain going constantly. And because you have more than one slider in pal, Marbus, you know, is, is a little bit more likely to carry on spawning them. So that's like the, the perfect rhythm you want to get in. Right. Oh man, just misses it. Yeah, yeah. There we go, more points. Yep. So now you just want to uh, swap over to the Dragon Sword, uh, kill the imps as quickly as quickly as you can, and um, can't stress it enough. You know, keep an eye on your time. Now, I know when I did this, I actually had a stopwatch going for uh, the Marvis fight. I knew how much time I had, you know, to kill him, how much time I could spend in the fight, and knowing that stuff is extremely important because you cannot go over on your time. Right, because that costs a lot of points. Just one second. Yeah, one you know, second will cut it. Fifty thousand points. And um, I think, if I remember correctly, he still finishes with about a minute, uh, more like over a minute um, left for this chapter. So I mean, he could have spent an extra minute there and got, you know, maybe five or six more kills. Who knows? Right, right. Now the Emperor's fairly straightforward. What you want to do here, as you can see, he's focusing on the chest at the start, and the reason he's doing that is because when you take out the first arm. The cutscene that shows here, you can't actually move Ryu in this cutscene, as you can see he's just standing there. Um, when you take out the second arm, you can actually move him after that. So that's why you want to wear down the chest as much as possible, and then, because like the most amount of health is allocated to the chest, not the arms. So make sure you do that, because on the second one you can actually reposition him and you know get a gleaming blade going while that cutscene is happening. Do you think if he had more time he could farm? Or uh, farm like UTs on that, or would that not be beneficial? Um, I think I can't remember how much time you have for it. It's like 70 seconds or something. Because I know in Sigma, it, they actually gave you um, like three minutes for that fight. Oh, maybe that's what maybe that's what I was and thinking of. On the lower difficulties, it definitely is. On uh, I think normal and Ninja Dog, I think you have like three minutes for that boss fight, and you can get a solid 130, 140 thousand in UTs, and still you know get a, a pretty good kill bonus out of it. Now, this Inazuma strategy was showed by you, I'm pretty sure, uh, on your yeah, hard karma yeah. run. Um, yeah. I've said, uh, and I mentioned this on mine, I think this was this was one of the like last big breaks on karma running. I mean, this this was insane when you figured this out. It, I think Valbade gets around 580,000 for this boss fight. Uh, well, you know, you kind of stole my thunder, because <laughs> I was going to say, man, whoever thought of this is a super <laughs> genius. You know? Oh, it was well, me. Oh, okay. well, definitely. That that goes without saying. Um, but of course, like usually, you would just like farm him for the time limit and kill all the skulls you could. You'd usually top out at about three hundred. So I mean, you know, you're almost doubling, you know, the the score you get from this boss alone um, for figuring that out. Well, the time limit is one hour, and the kills are three eighty. Obviously, you're going to get your kills. Uh, it's good to know all the time he had to go back and. You know, just managing that time is very important, and it's a big part. You know, a few extra seconds here and there could, you know, could mean a big difference later on. So he yep. he does very well with that. And his so color. this is it. And we're since we're in the same video, there's no reason to say hello. This is Big Alski. <laughs> but I'm gonna say it for the last time. <laughs> and that's JTB. Yeah. Um, Marbus is a complete. He's loaded bollocks, really. Um, I mean, doing him is fairly straightforward. You like roll under him, hopefully charge a UT, land X Y Y, charge away an ET. He, it'd be cool if he was going to get this, like as I was talking, but he goes for a UT, um, and then just finish him off. Um, like whether or not whether or not he'll charge towards you at the start of the fight is entirely random. Uh, sometimes he'll just throw his shurikens at you. Um, but the low I think you said uh, I think control. you said Marbus, but of course it's Mariah. Oh yeah, Marbus. It is still... Mariah. Yeah, I'm still in Marbus hate. I, I do hate right. Fiend Mariah a lot too, though. <laughs> but yeah, he's pretty straightforward uh, to kill with a low health UF. 
Well, look, this is it. I mean, what a fabulous run. Thank you so much for joining me with the commentary. We had a blast, everyone. We had a blast. Look at that score. A wise man, man once said 25.7 million was possible. Yeah, gee, JTG, I wonder who that was. <laughs> Take care, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. See you later.